Hey folks, how are you doing? Joe here. I got Tripper around here somewhere. We're out at the fort today. We've got a few things on the agenda. I want to do some spring cleaning and revamp the fort. I want to open everything up, take the doors off, pull back the tarp, get some light in there. We're going to get a huge fire going today and just leave it going all day, try and dry everything out in there, try and uh, get Tripper used to the fire again. And we're just going to spend the day out here together. So I'm really looking forward to it. Right, Tripp? Oh, this is in here. I don't want to rip the tarp. Yeah, thanks, bud. Yeah, good boy. Dig. Right here. Dig. Here. Dig. Yes. Good boy, Tripper. Thanks for the help, big guy. No, out, out. No, man, stop it. Okay. Okay, well that did its job, man. That's awesome. That lets some light in, opens things up. I'm probably not going to need it anymore. Uh, for the most part, I think the snow is done. Today is the actual first day of spring, and I know it's quite the joke where as soon as you get uh, ready for spring, uh, it snows a bunch more, and that, that may happen, but the winter's over for the most part. Spring! Alright, I'll get us plenty of ventilation for today. Ugh. That was a perfectly good log, bro. <laughs> well, so much for my window law. For the log I use for my window. Okay, plenty of space, and air, and sunlight. Open things up. Slide that down. Put dirt up there. <laughs> all right. Let's get a, uh, oh, let's open the front. Let's open the front. That hasn't been opened at all since I put it up there. This should be relatively straightforward. Just kind of pegged it up everywhere. No. no, that ain't so bad, folks. I do not hate the looks of this. Got a few ideas. The snow wall did not happen this year. This is not a normal winter. That's beyond my control. 
But I do like the idea of having uh, something other than this tarp here. Whether it be a lean-to on this side with another big bench, and I could sleep here, or have this for a company. But I do like having it, a view of the outside, too. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do. But, anyway, it's open. Let's go get some firewood. We got a new axe sent from Bushcraft, Spain. If it doesn't have the name on it, I'll have to put it, the name in text here. Uneta, Unita. Completely different than anything I'm used to. Pretty lightweight. We'll go check it out, see how she works. I don't know if you saw that video, me bringing Beauty here for the first time, the new dog. Me and Emmy showed off that this is the only snow we were able to get, so not much all collected off the top of the of the fort. So again, the snow wall is incomplete for this year. It's always 2022, things are looking up. So Tripper and I are down in the swamp, in the marshy part, looking for hardwood. And there's a plethora down here, so we're going to get some and bring it back to camp. Found this piece is decently big. You can see it's it's wider than I would normally want to get for firewood. I just want to make sure it's good all the way up because there's some funky spots I can see. I want to make sure the wood's good inside of it. This axe is completely different than any I've ever had before. Again, it's an Urnita. U R N E U R N I E T A. And the good folks at Bushcraft Spain sent it over. If you look at it, the handle's pretty rectangular. Got a cool little sheep's foot at the end. Different, different head and everything. So we're gonna whack into this a couple times and see how, how the quality is of the wood. Oh yeah. And the axe. Wow. So I'm putting my lips on the wood to see if uh, I can feel moisture or coldness coming through. If you can feel a lot of cold, that means there's moisture in there and I don't feel anything, so. As I'm sinking into the ground here, um, we are going to take this one. But, safety first. Can't be too careful. Get that mask back on there. I had somebody in the comments a while ago ripping me apart for calling it an axe mask. Well, that is the name of it, boy. Do your research. Okay, we're going to get this down. I'm going to have to cut it low and pull it because it's hung up. The good folks at Agua Gear hooked it up with another saw considering I bet the crap out of mine. Those guys have been cool with me since day one and vice versa. So, happy to support them. Whoa! As much as they are happy to send me saws, I'm sure. Okay, I got the dry Sydney Ranch blade on. Oh, she's a hardwood. I always try to use the full length of the saw. And two hands when it's, when it's useful to do so. Now before it starts to bind and pinch too bad, we'll turn it around. We'll turn around and uh, actually, I might be able to use the axe and whack the back, back end of this. I'm a loose cannon, I'm a loose cannon. Okay, that's something. Move. Take some work. Okay, it's like a foot from being loose up there. We got it stuck under some logs in the snow. Ah. Woo. 
My little heart's pounding. Check, check, check. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but underneath the snow, some massive logs and stuff, and my tree's caught on it, so I'm gonna chop that log, see if I can camp, free it up. Go. Man, this axe is like laser. Okay, let's see now. There we go. Boy! Got him. Spot him, got him. I think I'm gonna cut it in half to try to bring it back to camp. That is some good wood, man. Some gal. Have no so we don't have any problems while we're carrying it back. I'll shut this saw, carry it that way. Nice and easy. We'll have to come back for, for the second piece. heavy. There's so much snow in my shoes. I have to go fix that right now. He brought he brought his wood there too. I know, good job. I see what you did. Got our two big logs there. Trippers work right in the middle. Don't worry, you're getting credit. I'm telling people you did it. Good boy. Oh man, this cannot wait. This cannot wait at all. My uh, my ankles are uh, throbbing, like numbingly cold. Uh, come on, get off, get off, get off me. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, that was painful. Painful amount of ice and snow around my ankles. So remember, before in the winter I said I always like to wear gaiters when I wear short boots in the winter time and that's the reason why I misunderstood or I misinterpreted how much snow was going to be back in there or well, back in the whole forest actually but I've tracked down enough paths to the fort where it's not so bad but down in that marshy part it's, it's a, oh, no man's land okay Get this fire on, get this fire going, get a cup of tea on, and maybe sit down for a minute. There's a lot of blowdown and trees broken off halfway up, like before. I've had a couple more storms in between. So I, on my way in, I saw quite a few options of building materials that I can still gather. So that's always handy. I'm cutting this wood all up. You're not gonna have to be uh, subjected to it all, I promise. <laughs> but before I do that, I'm gonna split this first piece up and start the fire because I do want to have the fire going all day. So it's pretty dry, very hard. This one's got a big knot in it, but I think we can still split it. I've not used this axe for splitting yet. I did something. We split a little bit of a quarter off of it, but let's see if we can split it right down. Nice. And that wood, that might even be ash. That's some legit wood. Some really legit wood. Happy with that. Split it down, get a good, decent fire going. A 
then, uh, no, out. And then we'll come back and work on this. And I do want to see about the front of that fort too. Get it. Out. Get it. Man, he's solid. He weighs like 75 pounds. This is all he wants. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, he's a strong boy. Oh, he's such a strong boy. I know. Good boy. Leave it. Get it. Out. 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 Get it. Out. Back. Trooper back. Down. Good boy. Get it. Yeah, that's a little close to the old hand though, but Go to the order, there, big boy. Oh, he's a strong boy. Oh, he's a strong boy. Oh. Got a big old lot of birch bark when we were out there collecting firewood. Easy peasy. Get all the smallest pieces out first. Yeah, this is ash. Now hopefully Tripper doesn't lose it too much. But I anticipate he's going to, but that's the whole thing. I don't, he's not trapped in here. He can run around, do whatever he wants. I'm not going to be in here. I'm going to be out there working. So hopefully just the ambiance of fire uh, around will help him with his love for barking and, and jumping at the fire and burning his whiskers and the whole nine yards. Hopefully he'll get over that. Again, he was raised here. You know what I mean? He, he's, he's known this, but ever since he had those surgeries and was laid up for a while, he's crazy about fire. But we shall try to break him of that. Starting now. Fire went up nice and easy. Super happy about that. That's some awesome firewood. <coughs> yep. Do some spring cleaning while we're out here. Get rid of some garbage that was left over. Take some stuff home. But clean a bunch of stuff out. And that wind is whipping through here. Wow. See what the, the doors make a huge difference, eh, on this thing. Okay. No, nope. you gotta stop that, eh? No doing that. I'm sure, I'll get some flack for that, but that's how she goes, boys and girls. No, out. What happens all around the world? Back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I threw that. I threw that log way over there. Friggin' javel end it. <laughs> you hear him? A wild mutt.
He's doing better. I got this birch tree and oh, as soon as Tripper stops, we are going to frame our windows with this birch tree. I got this idea off of Instagram, excuse me, from Clifford Wright. Clifford's a super cool dude, old buddy who, man, years ago gave me, gifted me my first snow trucker tent. Awesome dude, older gentleman, and he drove hours and hours to give it to me. Uh, and we still uh, talk every now and then, follow each other on Instagram. Anyways, he has a really cool uh, like shelter fort cabin thing uh, on his Instagram channel a page and he framed his windows with birch and it looks amazing and I am going to copy that but credit where credit is due thank you Clifford all right so let's do it so as you can see that window is as spectacular as it already looks it will look even better if that random cedar wasn't there and it was looking a little bit more natural you know natural like that plastic we're gonna take off the cedar and we're going to First, we're going to split the birch bark logs. Hopefully, we can get them straight split, and then we're going to replace those logs with that. And it is warming up. So the first thing we need to do is measure. No, no. And I want to go from there. I'm going to fit, do it properly this time and not go short. So we'll go all the way to there. So I'll notch this. Triple back up, man. And we will. Cut our birch log to that length. Look at this. <laughs> Growing a note. A lot of people said I looked like Justin Bieber or that I had Justin Bieber's hairstylist. We all have the same hairstylist in Canada. to tear out at the end there that's why I kind of set it down but this is gonna be a hefty piece to split I cut that piece in two because I think trying to split this one as a whole would have been impossible and I'm looking at it and it still seems like it's gonna be kind of difficult so what I think I'm gonna do is make uh, wedges out of some of the hardwood to help me <laughs> All right, we cut a small log. We're gonna make wedges out of this one. Make four wedges. Tripper, stop. There's one done. There you go. Okay, we're gonna try and do this. I have more wedges than I could have hoped for. I've got the normal style they saw me make where I'm pounding down inside and then also these ones where I thought they could go long ways. Pound them in that way because they're wedge shaped that way. So we've got like a handful here. I, I have high hopes on this one. So let's do it. Just find a good spot to work at. Something. There we go, right on the money. Yes, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, we are off to a phenomenal start. Couldn't be happier with that one, but I do want to be careful because I don't want it to split off to one side way worse than the other. Yeah, okay, that's the way to do it. No more swinging the axe. 
It's okay, that was my first time. Oh my. We will get it. Okay, let's get some wedges in this. Now, I'm not sure how this ah, works fine. I wasn't sure how this pole would work for this because it's rounded. Works fine though. Get that in there. Get one in here. Okay. It's following it. It's following it. It's almost done. We almost got it split through. It's not too bad either. I messed up a couple times, but I think it's totally salvageable. I don't know how good those other wedges are going to work. The normal wedges seems to be the ones to use on this. Okay, okay, looking good. One more split and I think we've got it. I'll just use this one. We did it. You just got to get it the rest of the way. If it would have stayed on this line, it would have been better, but it kind of split off to that line. But maybe I can fix it again. There we go. No harm, no foul. Happy with that. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, Joe versus the piece of wood. No, 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 no. No tag team in the woods. Let's walk back. And this thing really is a laser. They did sharpen it for me. Thanks again, guys. Bushcraft Spain. Okay, look at that, folks. We did it. Took some doing. But uh, let's get it up and see how she looks. Set these nails in beforehand. Ideally, I'd be using something with a little bit more weight behind it. But that is what it is. I'm not using that other axe with this for this. Okay, let's get this up there. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not too bad. I like the looks of that. That's cool.
bam, some. Oh, it's cool. Can't even see the nail because of the birch bark. Can't see the nail for the birch bark. The birch bark. Here's the birch bark. Here's the birch bark. Here's the birch bark. Beard bark. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love it way more than this nonsense here. Good from here. The other one's pulled out so easy. <laughs> this one's gonna be difficult. Oh, you know why? Oh, they dicked her around in the middle there. Okay, it's gonna take a hot minute to get off. I guess we'll put the other side on first anyway. All right, this is gonna take me a little bit, so uh, I'll get back with you. I'm not gonna put you through me splitting all these things down. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Actually, I gotta get some more firewood on that on that fire. I think. Look at that bed of coals, man. Just rocking, just a rocking. Yeah, we'll get some wood on that. I keep it going. Get something to eat here real quick too. Just a little snack while I'm working. Try to cut a new piece. I oh, don't know, it's all pretty wampus actually. Hmm. I want to try and get a straight piece of this, but I'll have to measure the window and see just how much I need still. Good. Probably the best one I've done yet. Had to turn on the camera. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're all done splitting now. Go try and fit it all up. Oh, look at this one. Whoop. She bends quite a bit. Not too bad, not too bad. Those pieces away from Tripper for now. Yeah, <clears throat> that's gonna take some doing. Might as well do it now, I think, while everything's off there. Okay, I can deal with that. Most of the nails came out. There's two in there. Man, doesn't that birch bark look so much better? Okay, okay. That is looking good. Okay, 
one last piece fit it up okay I can even cut off some so do I want to cut off the bent part mm. I can't tell I'm too close what way to put it maybe that way Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Boom. Nice. Tighten the whole thing up too, the whole window up. A little sag, but a little sag will do you. Nice. I don't hate that at all. Well, I couldn't be happier with how that turned out. Looks good to me, and uh, it was a fun little project. So, better than this, right? Better than stuff like this. So, uh, I do have to deal with this firewood before I get out of here. I'm starving. I've been out here for quite a few hours now, um, but I don't want that firewood to go uh, to waste, definitely. So, I'm going to buck it up, and uh, it might take me a hot minute here. We're going to store it, too, so it stays nice and dry. You see my birch frame, my birch window frames? Building a fort in the woods, making birch bark, no, nope. making birch window frames. You know what, and I can actually even cut this plastic. Trim it up a little bit, you know? Make it look a little bit nicer there, bud. Yep. Whew. We're gonna have a sweat again. All right, folks. Give you one last shot of this glorious, glorious hair, and uh, we're gonna end the video here. Cut a few more pieces of this wood, and uh, wrap the ceiling up. Maybe, maybe put the tarp back up on the roof, and that's it. We got everything else open. <laughs> Tripper's ready to go, I'm ready to go. Can you let me speak, please? Can you just stop for two seconds so I can say goodbye to the folks? Eh? Say goodbye to the people. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll be back very soon. Goodbye.